Hi everyone! I uh, just thought I'd come here and show you all the plants that are here on this hillside. Lots of them are medicinal. Um, and where should we start? Let's start with this. This is red clover. Um, it's an amazing tonic for the uterus, so it's really good for women's health at all stages of the cycle. Um, it's also really good for the skin, so it clears out our lymphatic system, which is our system that gets rid of our toxins. Um, if that system isn't working very well, our body releases those toxins through our skin. So a lot of our skin conditions happen because our body isn't able to get rid of those toxins. So lymphatic um, herbs are really good. You can make this into a tea, um, which is a really yummy way to taste it. They're also edible, so you can eat them just straight away like this. Um, another plant is this one here, which is plantain. It has these really clear ridges. Um, along the back and you would have seen this in the grass these high sort of seed heads that poke out uh, this is an amazing herb for hay fever so if you suffer from hay fever um, you can make a tea out of this um, it's also really good as a wound healer so it's really cooling for any cuts and scrapes bites as well so you can make a herbal oil by infusing this and Another plant here, we have yarrow, which is about to flower. Or well, there's some here, which is already in flower. This lovely white cluster of flowers. The Latin name for yarrow is Achillea millifolium, uh, meaning many leaves. So if you see these sort of fern-like leaves in the grass, in shorter grass, you can still see these leaves. Um, just uh, if it's, if the grass is too short, the flowers won't grow, as in if the grass is cut a lot flowers won't grow but these flowers are again amazing wound healers so the millifolia refers to the leaves lots of tiny leaves but the Achillea refers to Achilles who was the Trojan war hero and he used this plant to stop the bleeding in his soldiers so you can if you do have a cut and you are near Yarra you can just chew the, the flowers in your mouth and put it on your cut and it's amazing, the blood literally almost just disappears back into your body. It just like um, completely stops the bleeding by constricting your blood vessels. And that's an amazing plant. And what else do we have? We have got Self Heal as well, which is another wound healer. This has been popping up recently in recent um, weeks, all around grasses as well it's got these nice purple flowers and as it gets older the flower grows these lower purple petals fall off and then you'll see them above here and this again is another really good uh, wound healing herb that you can use in a herbal oil um, one of the names for it is carpenter's herb because carpenters usually get lots of scrapes on their hands so this is really a good herb for that too um, got agrimony so this has recently started to flower really long um, flower stem with lovely yellow flowers on the top and the leaves are they kind of come opposite and they they make a little with with one of the leaves at the top here and they're quite serrated so you'll notice the leaves first and then the flower stem is really high this is a bitter herb um, bitter herbs are really good for our digestion and stimulating the liver. Again, really good for removing toxins from the body. And yeah, so you'll see this popping up all over the place now. They're, those are the sort of ball of stalks of yellow flowers that you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm literally sitting in one place and I have uh, seen so many medicinal plants. So they're all around you. So take a look.